Are dating apps making dating harder? Grab your stick. Grab your drink. Let's get into this thing right now. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy JB coming at you live and direct, and you know what it is. It's the Smoke Sup, Drink Something podcast. Welcome back to the channel. We about to get into this thing right now. Are dating apps making dating harder? In other words, why did dating apps not seem to be working? Y'all know we got to jump right back into this thing, and when I do a topic like this, y'all know who I got. To bring with me is the Family Affair Edition. I'm going to let her introduce herself. Tell y'all what she's sipping on tonight as she give y'all some wisdom on this thing. Thanks, JB, for having me back. What's up, everybody? Thank y'all for tuning in. It's your girl, Rhonda. <laughs> <laughs> tonight, I had to go with an oldie but goodie. You know, it's, we mourning here in Charlotte, man. It's, it's a tough day here in Charlotte <laughs> over these past couple of days. So I had to finish off my little bottle of Bailey's. So mm -hmm. I'm back with my little hot chocolate. Something comforting, man. Something I'm in mourning. <laughs> I'm is it that cold? Is it that cold? No, I'm morning. I'm morning. This is just, oh, okay. Just my... Okay. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah, that means it's she gonna I'm be grieving. My grieving drink. That means she gonna be coming at y'all. That means she gonna be coming at y'all. Boy, I'm telling you, you don't mess with people when they're going through some stuff. I ain't know she was feeling like that. We could have we could have recorded on another night. Appreciate oh, you. Appreciate you being on. And You're and welcome. and I can tell y'all like this. I'm still finishing off my boxes. A new one, Connecticut. And tonight I switched it up a little bit. As y'all know, man, I'm I'm in the bar business. My GM from Orlando said, Jeff, I want to bring a new product on. Told me to go try it. So tonight I'm drinking my Surfside iced tea, lemonade, vodka out the can, bro. It's, 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 yeah, we bringing that on for the summer. We bring it's it good. on for the summer. And I ain't going to lie, guys. It's good. Mm. I got look. Here's the can I poured, and I can t I can tell you this the extra one I'm gonna pour <laughs> as we get into this thing. And that's a if beer. The, no, no, no. It's just uh. iced tea. It's a spiked iced tea, basically. Oh, but okay. It's gonna be coming soon. Coming soon. I, I I had to do some. I had to do some taste testing and some research. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm smoking on tonight and sipping on tonight. Rhonda, when we got the topic regarding dating apps. What was the first thing that came to mind for you? Well, the first thing that came to mind is of all the stories I've heard of in the past where people end up dead or in jail or okay. <laughs> something like that okay. or something like that with it. Like, you know, but don't get me wrong. I think some date naps may work for some people, but I think in this world where it's already hard to find somebody because you don't know if you're being catfished or not, um, Dating apps, it, it makes it easier for the scammer, but it makes it harder on, on people who are looking for something real. Okay. So, so that was my thoughts on it. it. It's so funny, guys. And I'm going to get into the articles um, that I saw. Um, I'm going to get into the articles that I saw. And I just realized the one article that I saw, I didn't I didn't queue up. But y'all are getting <laughs> the point. I got the other articles that matter. And the one thing, guys, the reason why I did this is this article intrigued me so much. Because, in essence, the dating app is in their best interest that you don't stop looking for dates. Mm. <laughs> because their whole algorithm is based on you not finding anybody, not that you do find somebody. And so now the, now the dating app is a situation where, oh, my God. I'm over here thinking this thing is working for me, but all along is getting my information and making sure it doesn't work for me. See, guys, what you got to understand is that nobody's going to turn on you that you don't know. Hmm. The only person who can turn on you is the people who've been let inside your private world. Mm -hmm. So now these dating apps are sending you guys that they know won't work. And then they're sending you, hey, maybe you ain't having a, maybe you ain't having a, 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 a success on this app because you ain't signed up for the gold edition. Mm. <laughs> you want the high value, man? 
Oh, that's in our platinum edition. He ain't gonna be in no app. Yeah. <laughs> what? See, see, now, guys, look. The funny thing is, you're talking to you're talking to somebody who's not on a dating app. But I talk to plenty of people who do. Oh no, uh, uh-uh. uh. I look, guys. I'm old school. I'm old school. No, old and, school. And, and the one thing I hate, the one thing I hate, is apps. I cannot stand an app. Mm. And the reason, and and, and the re, the one app that that just disappointed me that I got rid of was my DoorDash app. Oh, you got rid of DoorDash. Yeah, I got rid of DoorDash, man. I got rid of DoorDash. Round up their grieving. I'm over here confessing. I got rid of my DoorDash app because. I don't like apps. And the reason being, when they, they got my order wrong so much. And in an app, they try to make sure you can't tell them the real problem. They box you uh-huh. in on what the problem can be. And then that's it. Uh-huh. So these people can constantly get my, my order wrong. And you've boxed me in on what I can say so that you can give me the max you're going to give me. Because at the end of the day, guys, these apps are just algorithms. So these apps are meant to keep you in suspense. So the reason I did this is because the one thing that blew up everything, and I, and I hate to go back to 2020 because everybody kind of getting it back into the getting, you know, getting back to normal. But the one thing that blew the date naps up was COVID. Okay. And people couldn't do anything. So they got used to these quote unquote virtual relationships. They just swiping and talking and chatting. Well, then the world opened back up. And now here's the problem, guys. The world has to open back up. Now 2024 come. And now everybody being stretched financially. So dating is becoming even more harder because you don't have the money to keep kissing frogs. Hoping they're going to turn into a prince or a princess. Jump in there, Ron, and let me know what you think when you hear me say that. Well, no, I, I definitely agree with you on, on a certain level to that. Because with COVID, keep creating this space of loneliness, mm-hmm. right? And and then on top of that, I could be anywhere and, and talking to somebody and they don't necessarily have to know what I look like because I could pull a picture from somewhere else mm-hmm. um, of somebody else. Because guess what? We can't meet up anyway. We can't go anywhere. Mm-hmm. Right. So even better, yes. if it's a long distance thing. Right. So unless you really do a deep dive on some on some people like you're really not going to know too much about who you are uh, dating. I think the thing of it too, COVID created so many other avenues when it comes to dating that if people, if you truly want to meet somebody, you will. But also too, if it's easier for you to stay in the house because you still may be scared, you may like catch something or don't want to get sick or what have you, it's easier to have that virtual relationship and thinking Mm -hmm. that you're talking to somebody that you're not talking to. I think that's my biggest thing that I see with, with the with the apps is just all the scams that go on with it. They did a story about this lady who who she ended up her body was found like in a river somewhere. All because she had found somebody, right? But it really wasn't like she had never really met them. But when it was by the time she was gonna meet them, she was being investigated by the FBI for money laundering and all this other stuff. All because she believed one day she was gonna meet this prince. When the whole time yep. he would won't even know regular frog. He was a toad. <laughs> Not the neck uh, action. Not the neck action. Don't be bringing the neck action to the podcast. It's funny you say that, though, Ron. Hold on. It's yeah. so funny that you say that. Because that algorithm knows how to talk to you. That algorithm knows how to feed you. That algorithm knows what you want. Right? So for all of you guys who are going to listen to this podcast, you're going to start getting dating app stuff fed to your social media. Mm. You're going to start getting day naps fed to your websites when you search it. And I think what happens is now you start wanting to believe. We call it confirmation bias in the sales world and in the psychology world, where I'm looking for something that confirms what I already believe instead of saying, let this let this thing actually expose itself and I'm going to be neutral. So it's so wrong. It's so funny. Ron said the, the girl ended up in a in a uh, in a in a river. Because not funny that she ended up in a river. It's funny that the, the, the dating oh, app that got her, it's a it's, it got her so it got her so entrenched that guess what guys start money start changing hands. Yes. And once money starts changing hands, just like the scriptures say, where a man's treasure is, that's where his heart is. Right. So now you start serving, you start sending money back and forth, and all of a sudden your logic your logic goes away and emotion takes over. I think the hardest part about this is. You're seeing more and more people now go back to the traditional methods. 
doing mm. meetups, right? Uh, uh, you know, getting together with groups of people who are doing activities. Like Rhonda said, we're going to do a meetup at a Top Golf or a bowling alley or a high ropes course. Something where people can just have fun. And if you happen to meet somebody, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah, me, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, meet them in the produce section. Yeah. Look, if you want to meet somebody now, go to the produce section. Blueberries. Right. Go to the blueberries. That's the only, everybody who's sick, everybody who's sick <laughs> over in the everybody who's trying to get their life right in the produce section. Yes. Right. So so I mean, that's where you want to go. That's where you want to go if you want to meet if you want to meet some people who 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 ain't got no time for bull. Anybody in the produce section, they dealing with real life stuff and they real people. <laughs> you know the shop on the side. Ten years ago, they used to shop. Oh my god! Get yes. stuff from the, from the process stuff. Stuff. But now, now life has moved them to the produce section. <laughs> so y'all make sure, man, if you want to get, meet somebody, just start hanging out in the produce section and, and look where the green vegetables are. If you look where the green vegetables are, that's the person really going through some stuff, and they would love to have somebody go through it with them. I'm just messing with y'all, but yeah, yes, produce section are. is very sad. So one of the things that you'll find, guys, is that these dating apps are really just catering to you. They don't want you to actually find somebody. And so now people are meeting up in person. And what's happening is the scammers starting to show up in person now. Mm-hmm. The scammers starting to show up in person now, guys, because the scammer can scam whether he's on a dating app or whether he's in person because you didn't change. You didn't change. The, the the person who's this the, the person who's the scammer adjusts to who he needs to scam. Mm-hmm. But you committed to stay the same because you get online and talk about how real you are and blah 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 blah. But that's the difference, guys. So when when I came when I came around and said, Ronnie, we gotta do this podcast, I saw this article and then I found two okay. more articles that we're gonna go over. Okay. And y'all gotta understand the last podcast we did on getting in the transfer portal and NIL and all that stuff. I had some articles, and Rhonda said, man, what you doing not having articles that got bullet points and numbers? So, you know, <laughs> so, you know, when it came time to it, I said, here we go. Rhonda said, look, man, it's a lot easier when you get articles with, with numbers and business. <laughs> you got us drinking. You got us up here drinking. When your audience, when your, audience, when your, when your, when your panelists tell you, look, man, right, look, you better step it up. You want me to keep showing up. Oh, I, I got I'm going to show I up got to do it. <laughs> Y'all, we going to get into this first article. Let me share my screen real fast. We're going to get into this first article. Okay. And this article is we just click.uk. I went over here. This came out in February 22. Rhonda, can you see this? Yeah, it's pretty big, but yeah. Five reasons online dating isn't working for you. Okay. Five reasons why online dating isn't working, working for you. And at the top, I hear it all the time. I tried online dating and it doesn't work. It does you it it, it it does you know. I know this because not only am I surrounded by success stories, but I am my own success story. Okay. This woman was talking about how she met a man on Tinder, blah, 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 blah. And what did she say right here? She said, I don't mean to sound harsh, but if online dating isn't working for you, then the chances are there's a reason I would say it's not you, it's me. But the truth is, it's probably you. Okay, and here's what she said. Here's the good news. It's not your fault, and there are very simple steps you can take to make sure that online dating can work for you and work it shall. Cinderella will go to the ball. So this lady is talking from a female on the dating app because those are most people who are on the dating app. Now, here's why she says it's not working for you. This is basic stuff, Ron. When I saw it, I said, oh, my God. You said something earlier when we first started talking. You talked about catfish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, here's the deal, guys. Your profile picture is off. Right? She said, I was tired of seeing the same old, same old, and no one was standing out. It was full of men who thought it was a great idea to take a selfie with their guns out. Admit it. Mm-hmm. You know the type. Or even worse, a picture that's been blatantly reduced in size to crop out their old girlfriend. <laughs> or even a selfie with their ex (laughs) front and center. Mm. It really wasn't doing it for me. And I was, in all honesty, totally bored with the whole scene. She said, and then I saw him. He popped up, and instantly I knew he had made an effort with this. He dressed smartly. He was smiling. 
and the pictures looked like they had been taken by a professional. He stood out. Right away, you think when you hear about your profile picture is off. Oh, you know, that's number one. Right. Got a tickle in my throat. But, <laughs> <laughs> but your, your, your profile picture off right on the, on the date now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, seriously. Um, that's the one thing that gets you first, right? So if if they didn't got this sleek picture and then when you meet them it's completely different but if it's if it's even if it's a 10 year old picture that's not good either when you see the difference between you 10 years ago and you now that's a whole different thing so yeah you need to make sure that your profile picture whether it's she is she talking about turned off or is it just off yeah. because it's she not, said it's, right just off. It's, not it's not it's not an accurate pitch is what she said it's not an accurate okay. picture so because i can't see the whole all the all the article but how many of us we do like when you think about past profile pictures you've used or anything like that sometimes you do crop some stuff out <laughs> that's why you could it's nice to have it as your profile picture because you could you could adjust it however but if this isn't a red flag, I don't know what is because all of us typically could tell when the picture is not right. Like, you know what I'm saying? When, when it is off, when something doesn't appear to be right with it. And you have zoomed in so much or zoomed out so much that you really can't see anything. So when I click on it, you can't even do nothing else to it because it's been manipulated so much. So no, I think this is, I think this is a good, uh, a good, uh, bullet point to say that okay. the picture is off because yeah it, it makes total sense well i gotta tell y'all this now full disclosure see i'm also a real estate broker oh lord and most real estate agents you meet <laughs> our profile picture don't look like nothing we look like right now real estate real estate don't. agents you oh my god don't. oh my god my real estate picture my real estate picture don't look nothing like i look now but it's a common accepted practice no, in real estate Lord. in real estate and i think that's where it came from a lot of people realize your attorney's picture don't look he don't look the same yeah your accountant's picture don't look the same your yeah. real estate agent picture don't look the same and your doctor picture don't look the same right so what yeah. people were doing was they were putting these profile pictures up because y'all got to understand your profile picture is just what you believe puts you in the best light I like how she said crop the person out that was in the picture and use that as a profile picture because they know the person they used to date is looking and they know that person who they used to date. No, Lord. It, no, they got cropped out. That's what mm -hmm. I think is funny. That's what I think is funny. Let's go to number two. Number two, you're too much of a romantic. <laughs> Listen, mm -hmm. I'm living proof that online dating can lead to meaningful relationship, but don't enter into this world with that thought. It's supposed to be fun and should be treated that way. It happens when you're not looking. It's when you least expect it. So don't start your journey by setting yourself up for a fall. Enjoy the pr uh, process. If it happens, it happens. Rhonda, you're too much of a romantic. I'm going to give you my thoughts first, then I'm going to let you jump in there. Okay. If you are romantic, that's not a transactional situation. That's why dating apps ain't working for you. If you're romantic and believe in a fairy tale, technology cannot capture the fairy tale. That's why Disney can do these movies, but it don't represent real life. And if you're a hopeless romantic and believe in chivalry and all that kind of stuff, dating apps ain't for you. So you're out here trying to find a person on a dating app that's having to hide behind technology because they're too they're they're, they're not they don't have a personality to be out on the social scene where you're hanging out at. Jump in there, Ron. Let me know what you think. Um, we did a podcast not too long ago, um, and you you looked up the definition of romance. You remember that? I can't remember mm -hmm, the name mm -hmm, of the actual one. Mm -hmm. Right. So so that in and of itself makes total sense because romance meant that there's a form of escapism. Mm -hmm. Dating apps mean you're here to stay. We're trying to yes. get something where we where we gonna stay. This is not about mm -hmm. escaping anything. So I can see how that would that would not work for somebody who is a ro who is a romantic. And wants to, you know, believe in rainbows and unicorns um, all the time. It, yeah, you'll get you'll get your heart broken every single time. Ro romance and trying to find somebody online shouldn't go together, even though 
people want to be romanced on the apps. Oh, that the, and that's and that's how the scam starts. Think about it. My profile picture is off because I know you're looking for the fairy tale. Mm. Now your conversations and your communications, I got to give you this this faux romance because I know that's what you want. I'm going to talk to you about long walks on the beach and watching the sunset and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And these people are sitting here saying, yeah, I can take advantage of you. You're I'm going to you lunch. I'm going to door dash you lunch. <laughs> hey, hey, look. <laughs> door dash you shade. lunch. That was some shade. <laughs> oh, they got look, you, Oh, my God. Hey, look. <laughs> that door dash. That door dash get them every time. But I think that's what happens. A lot of people, she, she's, she's chronologically pushing this thing. Because the reason your profile picture is off mm -hmm. is because you're looking for romance. So I'm trying to show you a picture that's going to attract you to me. And I don't even know what romance means. I'm, and basically, when she says you're too much of a romantic, she just means you're too much. It's too much of a fairy tale. Now, yeah, let's you're get too it. needy. You're too needy you're too on needy. a certain level. Absolutely. Yeah, I like that. You already yeah. you're already trying to make this relationship have too much of a burden to carry, mm -hmm. right? Because the first one I pick got to be right. The first one got to be work. right. And if I you're romantic, absolutely. If you're romantic, you probably grew up in church and all this kind of stuff. Grew up in a traditional home, believing in a fairy tale, and you're like, I can't be out here kissing a lot of frogs. I don't want people to call me out of my name and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people don't understand what she's saying right here. Stop going in thinking you're going to find love. You only go into this to have fun. If you ain't, if you don't see dating as fun, you're looking at dating wrong. Number three, you're on the wrong dating site. It's not like there's a not, it's not like there's not a lot to choose from. She says she wrote a blog about this recently. There are so many to choose from now that you don't mm -hmm. need to waste your time on apps and sites that don't work for you. If you've given them a chance, move on and try the next one. Now, this is where she gets me, Rhonda, because hmm. I'm going to try to make wrong right because all my life I didn't try to make wrong right. I don't know how to walk away from wrong. I only know how to try to make wrong right. What do you think when you hear me say that, Rhonda? Well, listen now. If you sitting up here and you own, what is it? I'm going to just say Hello Cube. I don't even know. But you know, one, <laughs> of, the, one of the little teeny bopper ones, right? Um, and then, but you really should be on the farmer's one like oh, you know Bumble. what i'm saying christian oh, yeah. mingle you know what i'm saying yeah right and so yeah if you really want to be tied up but that's a whole other story <laughs> so it's like yes yeah, so i can see how you could be on the wrong one because guess what you are looking you are looking mm -hmm. and sometimes you ain't gonna always find the right thing we do that in the grocery store could go down the aisle like mm, what was i looking for <laughs> right but you that don't mean you stop you go somewhere else and you find it mm -hmm. somehow so yeah but because you're looking yeah, you're gonna always, I think, especially in the beginning, we'll end up on the wrong on the wrong dating site. Because how dare you, how dare the app say that it's something wrong with me? Yes. How dare yes. the app say that? It's gotta be the app. I, it's gotta be the app. And I'm gonna keep sitting on this app because I don't want to tell my friends the app didn't work for me because think they gonna think something wrong with me instead of yeah. something being wrong on the app. When and one of the things you, too. when they miserable too. And one of the things y'all gotta find, man, being in the bar business, you see. Ain't nothing funnier than when two people come to meet at one of my locations and you can tell they both met on the app. Mm. And, and if I'm in there, if I'm in there when that dude walk in, oh my God, we blowing up the spot. We blowing up your spot well, because you it, yeah. well, because it's, it's funny because the only reason you invited them to the spot is because if it goes wrong, you're oh, coming yeah, to a place. Go. You come into a place where, okay, I got people here that's going to protect me and all mm -hmm. that, which means that's another thing, guys. If you're afraid of the person you're about to meet in person, <laughs> you don't need to be on a date now. Well, I think that's just like, just as a precaution. No, if you run, look, let me tell you this. Yeah. If I, I'm going to go there now. I'm going to go there. If I do a business meeting, yeah, I don't have one of my friends go in the, just in case this new, this, this new prospect. It's crazy. Go sit. Hey, man, go sit in the corner just well, in case this prospect. No, no. But dating is business, too, because these dating apps making billions. Yeah, people, of course they're making billions. People don't realize these dating apps were these dating apps went after the right people. Do y'all know socially awkward people had the most money? Because they hate social 
uh, I mean, experiences. They so, and they had to. They had yes. To. <laughs> so now all these people who are not in the dating scene, they were at home playing Fortnite or, or, or playing, you know, gaming and all this kind of stuff. Because y'all got to understand, a lot of the people who were doing gaming, that, that's really a dating app too, right? You, you talk to these people, you meet, you meet over these games. You meet over these apps yeah, that connect with other networking. people. Yeah. It's doing a lot of networking. So, guys, if you own the wrong dating site, it's okay. Okay? Now, number four. Uh-oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> you are a bit boring. Right? Mm. And here's what she said. Now, I don't want you to take this person because you're actually not boring at all, but you may be coming across that way because you're a tad bit nervous. Don't be afraid to ask questions. The idea of an online dating site is to get to know each other before you meet. So do that. Be interested in their life. Start a conversation by asking an open-ended question and continue the conversation from there. By the same extent, if they are asking you questions, avoid simple yes or no answers. Give them something they're asking for. You're a bit boring, mm -hmm. Rhonda. What do what, what, what you think when you see that one? Look, in a world of yes and no, fine, I'm good. Like, that's that's <laughs> where we are now as society, right? Mm -hmm. Like, literally, when you actually talk to somebody out in public or just in passing, people aren't as conversational. It's just what it is. Like, they mm -hmm. they do keep to themselves, again, which I think is, is definitely the remnants of COVID, right? And so mm -hmm. and now that, that the world has opened back up, it is hard to sit there and, and for some people to hold more than a conversation because guess what? I could think about what I type to you when we're when we're conversing on the app. But then here I am, like, and, but if you're not good, or even if y'all decide to pick up and talk on the phone, it's just, you know, it's just one of those things where I just think it has, COVID has created an environment where we don't have to really talk too much or let's get down to it. It's not, it's, it's what can you do for me? And then yep, let's keep yep. it moving. And so, oh, yeah. um, because the, uh, people, people don't have time, people don't have time. Um, and I don't even know what would make people stop and want to get to know other people, because the minute you say something wrong, people are going to shut down. Well, and, and I think that's, that's the whole point, right? Look at how she defined boring, right? She said, you're nervous. Yeah. See, and guys, you, you're boring because you're, you're, you're using this app and you know, you're not being truthful. See, guys, if you are, if you know you playing and you got a barrier up and you come in with a different alter ego image, now when you meet this pe person on the app, that's why she said you're coming across boring. You got on the app and now you're afraid you're going to get murdered. You're afraid something's going to, some crime is going to be com com committed against you. I can't say the, I can't say the R word, but oh, oh, on YouTube, but uh, the, uh, the, uh. the perspective is you worry about getting offended as far as a person doing something to you. Well, if you're straight up up front, you gonna get you gonna you gonna push the uh, the criminals away. The criminals are interested in people who fake in front. That's how a criminal. That's the gateway for a criminal, guys. So what happens is, be interested. I tell people all the time as a sales rep, all I do is listen, 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 listen mm -hmm. all day. Mm -hmm. That's all you do. That's all you do. Dating is no different, which is why people hate dating because nothing. All you doing is being a salesperson and being a salesperson don't mean you talking, being a salesperson mean you listening. And that's the hardest thing for a lot of people to uh, uncover. Let's get to number five, Ronica. I want to get to this other article. Here we go, guys. Number five, your written profile is off. When they ask you to write your bio, okay, this is what she means. That Remember, guys, I took a class a while back called the Art of Storytelling. That's why if you ever hear me tell a story, if you ever meet me in person and hear me tell a story, you're going to be like, dude, like, no way it happened like that. Yeah, it happened like that. Uh -huh. But I took this class on your art of storytelling, right? You know it's true. You know like, every, every story I tell. I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. I mean, outside of meet me, me, me but <laughs> yes. he was in the, he was in the same First restaurant, which means we had. Yes. <laughs> he was in the same restaurant. If you and I in the same restaurant, we ate dinner together. So, again, oh, he, what is, what's she saying is now we've addressed your profile picture. Let's look at the actual profile. What you say about yourself is important. This is another area where many are choosing to outsource to professional profile writers who know how to make you already amazing self, how to make your already amazing self amazing on paper. Open your profile with a question that will intrigue. Stay away from boring statements 
and show your true personality. Don't make it all me, me, me. Give your potential matches something to talk about and make it easy for them to make the first move and message you. These are quick fixes. So if you're finding that online dating isn't working for you, try these little hacks and let me know how you get on. Now, Rhonda, what do you talk? What do you think when you see number five where she talks about hiring a professional to write your uh, your bio, your profile? Look, I think it's hard for most people to talk about themselves, man. Like to literally write something about yourself. Now, I, got, I, I, I disagree with you. Question. I disagree with you. I think people talk about themselves too much. That's why social media blows up like it does. To actually write it though, but to actually write down. Oh, yeah, because they didn't go to English class. Like, you know what I'm saying? Who you are and what what you are (laughs) and stuff like that. I know when I tried to do my About Me page on my website, it was so hard because I was like, I don't even know what I want to say. Like, you know, it's just, so I don't know. So you do talk to people like, hey, let me ask somebody what they. Yeah, it's called Chat GPT now, right? So you just plug in what you want to say and let Chat GPT clean it up. That's why everybody profile picture looking the same, Ron. And that's yeah, why I mean, like profile picture. That's why everybody profile. That's gonna be, yeah, be like robotic and just, you know, nothing there, just just surface. But I it, get it. They stuff like this dating apps will make you be surface until you need to go deeper. Well, but I like what I like about it is this, right? Look at what she said, guys. Open your profile with a question that will intrigue. Look at what she said. This way, uh, it makes them make the first move. What's the first thing you get taught in sales training? How to ask questions to get the prospect to ask for the order. You ain't begging for the order. I'm going to just pepper you with questions and make you beg to see me. Hmm. See, and that's what a lot of people don't get. When I saw this, I'm like, this is sales training 101. This is sales training 101. I'm going to start off with a question because everybody else is starting off with statements. Now, notice, guys, this is how you get through the scammers as well. This is how you get through the scammers as well. If you start putting a better profile out there, because remember, guys, I can't attract the scammer if my profile picture is real. The scammer is looking for those types of photos that she talked about in number one. Because by the time you get to number five, you need deep in your fraud. But they know you ain't good at fraud, Mm. and they are. And that's why you end up somewhere in a a situation that you shouldn't be in. That's why your bank account get drained. Okay. So again, you know, it's it, it, I don't mind you using Chat GPT, but in essence, guys, why not put your regular self out there? Because this way, you're going to attract other regular people. But if you put in Chat GPT out there, you're going to attract other people who are using Chat GPT. And now both of y'all fake. Think about what, what you think about that, Ron. Well, but I think that's where we are now with dating. We well, say but everything who, is fake. Yeah, everything is fake. Who's, who's going to know? Who's going to know who who it? Who is who? Like, you know uh-huh. what I'm saying? I just think it's easier to fake in front until you actually do have to show up and be present with somebody. Um, or you don't ever meet them. Like, let's just keep it, like, let's just keep it long. Ding, 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 ding. Rhonda just told y'all exactly what the executives of the dating apps are thinking. We need everybody faking because if they're faking, they'll never get off of this app. Yeah. If people are real, you ain't going to be on that app long. But Rhonda just said it. Everybody faking in front, and so guess what? Damn. But you know Y'all gonna be on this app forever. Go ahead. It's this. It's this uh, Facebook group. I was seeing something on one of the local uh, stations up here, and it's this Facebook group. And evidently, it's real big in the larger cities to let mm-hmm. you know, hey, you're dating my boyfriend. Like, we, like you know what I'm saying? So they'll put these guys out there, like, they'll click with them for a little bit, and, and then they may go somewhere, but they're still dating. And then, it's, but it's letting these women know, like, hey, and it's a, it's a particular name, like, you got to join in and all that stuff. But because this one guy is on all these apps dating all these women and how they overlap, now these these Facebook groups that's really big saying, hey, hold on, that's my, that's my boyfriend. Oh, no, that's my boyfriend. Like, you know, so, but it's, it's just bad. Guys, Man. and that's what happened. These date naps are creating unqualified yeah. players. They creating unqualified players, man. That was not that was not the you, response. Yes, it, <laughs> yes, it is. You got a lot of guys who can that, who can no. do this stuff, Ronnie. You got a lot of guys who can do this stuff virtually, right? But where I'm from, you ain't that dude unless you can do it in person, right? No, like no, that's no. that's the key. This is now, not they, how to be a player. This is not that. But on the next episode, smoke something, drink something podcast. Oh, Lord. We talk about how to be a player. 
Now I won't be on that one, but you know, at the end of the day, I've been out of the no, game. Please. I've been out of the game a long time. I've been out of the game a long. I've been out of the game a long time. The reason why I'm saying this, the reason why I'm saying this to you guys is being a salesperson. Being a salesperson, I laugh at this because the number one profession everybody hates is sales, and all dating is all dating is is sales. Now, Ron, I want to get into this one. So as we okay. get ready, this is the second one, guys. I'm over here at Hub Pages. Seven reasons why dating apps don't work. We're going to go through this real fast. Okay. All right. Why? Am I here to discourage you from using dating apps? Kind of, but not really. Why don't they work if they're so popular? Yes, their popularity doesn't mean that they have the desired result for their users. These apps are owned by companies whose main aim is to make money. In most cases, you're nothing more than a customer. If your desired purpose of using the app is quickly satisfied, you will not be around to use the app longer. Got that? So why do I feel like they don't work? Here are seven compelling reasons. Let's go through them, Rhonda. Number one, algorithm-based matches don't imply compatibility. When I saw this, when I said, oh, my God. When I saw this, when I Look at what he said. Algorithm is just that. Mm -hmm. It's specifically designed by a programmer or programmers to give out certain output after considering a certain number of inputs and factors. Matches generated by an algorithm are based on the information that you have placed on your profile that matches with others who didn't put the same line in the database. You will likely have to go through many matches and evaluate them personally before you get that match that you will feel you will be okay for you. Ron, what's your thoughts on that one? No, I I totally agree. I'm I'm not. I don't like how if I look up something on my phone, the next thing you know, I'm trying to play Cookie Jam and the ads are what I just looked at. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I don't like how the al algorithms um, work unless it is a good deal. I just I don't know. I just think it ain't nothing like some good old old school face to face. We pass each other in a store or something like that. It's it's nothing nothing better than that. But yeah, of course, who gets yeah. into business? not to make money like that's... And, and, and that's what you guys got to understand if you're if you're a paying customer why do i want to stop you from being a paying customer right and, and, and one of the things that's a, this is another podcast for another day even if you find this person on the dating app how long and again one person goes off the dating app but the other person stays up there mm -hmm. right so again guys some you, you, you got to understand this you got to understand this. Number two, there is too much competition. A lot of it. I've been there. This reminds me This this reminds me of a surprising conversation that I had with a female friend who indicated just how many matches she would get with just one session of using the app. She said, I want to state that there's some unfairness here. Sorry I'm complaining, but the deck is so stacked against us as men when we get on these sites. Now, guys, the other, the other article I showed y'all was from a woman's perspective. That's the reason why I'm doing this one. So you see in her five, now you see in his seven. Too much competition. Okay. Here's what he's saying. It's the point here is that it's easy to set up an online dating profile, and with that ease, many applicants. This means that there's so many dating options to choose from. So if you haven't got your profile right, then be ready for unending left swipes on your profile, buddy. Jump in there, Ron, and let me know what you're thinking. I, I, can understand, I can understand this, but I'm just over guys playing the victim. Like, oh, what was hold me? On. Uh, 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 hold on. I got to get you in here so I can see your face. Hold on. What, what was me? <laughs> well, that is so many women, it's so many fish in the sea. What am I to do but to date them all? Can't stop. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, Ron, he got a point. No, he didn't. I'm going to go, but I'm going to go there. I'm going to go from this perspective, though. I'm going to go yes. from this perspective. He's got a point because I think a lot of those things, the dating apps are using AI to generate profiles and AI profiles are making it so you can't find somebody real, which means you never leave the app. Because if, at least if you're dating, people won't call you weird. People won't call you a failure. And what I think he means by this oh. is that there's a lot of women up here that at least can say, it's just so hard to find a man out here that I'm on these dating apps. And, and at least I'm trying to find a man. And so that when the old, it fast. we got to, yeah. we got to, it's, it's supply and demand. Mm -hmm. and yeah, I, I got to do my part. No, stop. 
but but I can get what he's saying. These profiles, look at it's so easy to set up an online dating profile, guys. AI has infiltrated everything in the world. AI has infiltrated everything in the world. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of AI things that are gonna start you getting hooked on the app. Right? Because if I can get you hooked, but then this guy kind of tails off, you'll keep swiping. You'll keep being interested. That's why AI is so necessary for a lot of these apps, because if they try to be real with you, you're going to be off the app. And the goal is they have a metric that they got to keep people on the app for a certain amount of time. They got to keep mm -hmm. them on the app for a certain amount of time. Now, I, I, again, guys, I agree with him on that. I understand what Ron is saying. But I think I'm looking at it from an AI standpoint. I think he should have said there's so many fake profiles that can just talk to you. Guys, if I go to any website right now, first thing that pops up is a chat box. Hey, don't don't wait in line. Don't call us. Chat your call. I mean, chat your question and we'll get back to you. Yes. X that out. <laughs> Number three, <laughs> you only get partial impressions. He said dating apps give us a partial impression of the people that you'd like to date. You do not quite get a full picture of your mm -hmm. potential match. You saw a cute smiling picture online and you thought it would be a good match. You went on a date. It turned out it wasn't such a good choice after all. You go back and resume swiping. I can see that. Right? Mm -hmm. so, so I think what happens is, I think what happens is, guys, you're falling in love with a picture. You're falling in love with a picture. So if I focus on the picture, I automatically got you. What do you think, Ron, when you hear me say that? Well, we're visual beings at the mm -hmm. end of the day. Like we're, we're, we're visual to a fault. Um, and so things are going to be appealing to you, which is why fake profile pictures go such a long way. Mm -hmm. And that's why we don't know. We could be somebody's profile picture. We don't know. Because Melvin and Peggy Bronze created some beautiful kids. But you just don't know. You just That'll don't know classic. anybody. anybody is if, you, if, you using my, if anybody out there using my picture, you're going to be swiping because ain't nobody interested in that. No, I well, think you I, I mean, stay on my I'm damn, okay. I'm damn good. I'm damn good, bro. Like now, if you using my, if you using my real estate picture, if you yeah. using my real estate picture, it might be different. <laughs> but yeah, but no, I, I think is is because we are visual, we have what we see, what we think we want, mm -hmm. and so it's just easier, man. It's easier to just be like, oh, this is what, this is what I like and want to be with, until you get it. Well, guys, guess you see what? That with a lot of people, they get married. They like, well, they like, and then bam. Mm -mm. And it's so funny that Ron is saying that, guys, because I think what y'all got to see is if you're visual beings, if you're visual beings, right, I got to get you a good picture. And if I can get you falling in love with that picture, you're not going to pay attention to my profile. Mm -hmm. Okay? You're not going to pay attention to my like, profile. Girl, he's fine, girl. I, all of us yeah. are there. If I can get you falling, she bad. She bad. If I can get you falling in love with my picture, you don't care what my profile says. You will justify my profile. You'll justify it, and that's why visual communication is so important, right? So I got to cover up my tats when I'm going to the bank to ask for a loan, right? It, because again, people make decisions visually when they see you, and so that's where a lot of people struggle. They're spending so much time on visual, and then when you meet the person in person, you realize they can't use filters no more. Right. They can't use that that lighting that they had. Right. If you saw me in person now, I got the ring light on. I got the spotlight on. You're going to be like, God, dog, ain't no Jeff skin was that bad. Right. Mm. Because, again, what, what happens is, damn, he really he really got a bunch of gray hair. But when you, when you start creating these productions, people fall in love with that image. And that's where that's why they're saying, guys, you know, you 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 would fall in love with that picture. And again. The dating apps, guys, are going to give you what you want, not give you what you want to be in a relationship with. Yeah. Here we go. Number four, people are too picky. We are all told not to be too picky when it comes to relationships or else we'll end up alone by ourselves and at, the end of the, at, at the end of the day. This only applies when you have a few to choose from. Dating apps, on the other hand, give you a wide variety to choose from that you were naturally inclined to be picky. After all, to get a new dating partner, you just need to swipe right. If you didn't like their profile, swipe right again, on and on. And the reason I'm saying this to you guys is if you're going to be on a dating app, you got to know I'm going to kiss a lot of frogs. But man, all you see on social media, 
Uh uh-uh, uh, this is what my requirements are. You better have this. You better do that. You better be able to pay for this. You better do this. This is why you see more single people or single acting people on social media. Mm. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody doing all that for no relationship, guys. Relationships are the key to everything in your life that you are not managing correctly, if that makes sense. If you ask people the number one problem they have in life, relationship going to be the top one most of the time. When you see people are too mm. picky around what you're thinking. Well, listen, I could I could understand that. I remember being in my 20s and having all the requirements and the list and, and having to be over six feet and all this kind of stuff, all the mm-hmm. privileged stuff. Now I know it's more about how somebody treats me. Um, mm-hmm. Now, yes, would I want them to have certain physical qualities, of course, um, but at the end of the day, you don't know somebody can end up in an accident. You just don't know. But yeah, I think I, I'm kind of I'm kind of torn with this one because I think you need to be picky um, because then you'll end up with some of everything. Mm-hmm. You won't end mm-hmm. up with some. You won't end up with some of everything. Like you'll like you'll see the ones that that will stay. But then your phone may be dry. Like you know you do have to you got to pick your battles. Well, I, right? I think- so I just feel like if you're out here like not being picky. Then you may end up with STD or STI, but, as they call no, it. No, no, no. Well, but, but see, but see, Ron, I think you're taking it. I think you're taking it to an extreme at that point. I think what this starts off with: you can't give me a fake profile picture, a fake profile, and then be picky. You can't. But, you can. Yeah, go ahead. But in their in their mind, though, they they really feel like they could because I'm trying to find love. Well, but guess what? Your definition yeah, of love is different. What we're doing. For what I agree, but your your we're definition of love is. It. But that's why I think what's happening is you're becoming too picky because you didn't got invested in your own lie now. Well, shoot, let me see if it's somebody out here who will do one through ten, and I'm gonna just I ain't gonna I ain't gonna sack I ain't gonna I'm not gonna settle. All y'all got to do is go on social media. All you got to do is go on social media, and you won't see nothing but women telling you everything you better do if you want to get with them. Mm-hmm. Right? When did that happen? And so then you got those same women out here saying. Ain't no good man out here. Well, what you're asking a man to do, it's not going to happen for you. And let's not even let's not even count the fact that you might be divorced. You might have kids from a previous relationship. You may not even have a job. I don't know. But the pickier people are the people who don't bring nothing to the table. That's what I've learned. The well. more picky you are, <laughs> the more you don't bring anything to the table. Or the more you're dealing with. With horrible relationship after horrible relationship after horrible relationship, you don't bring nothing to the table. And what has happened is you you going to keep your lies and you keep building upon those lies, building upon those lies, hoping you're going to find somebody who's going to put up what? with those lies. Jump in there, Ron. Well, I do. I think the people who, who tend to be picky or will find the smallest thing to nitpick at was probably lied to as children. Mm hmm. People in their lives probably true. made them think they were something that, that they totally were not. That's true. And then that they could require certain stuff when you like, man, please have several seats. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so, so you, so there's that part of it too. Like, and let's just be real. Most parents lie to their kids. All parents lie to their kids. Yeah, like all you know, all parents lie to their kids, which is why you put your lies on the dating profile, right? Like, parents no, don't. You ain't, you parents ain't that parents don't tell their kids the truth until they get man. tired of paying yeah. for their kids' expenses. No. Right now, what do I mean? Look, you get eighteen, you getting out of here. I don't love you like that no more. Right? You get you you can graduate college, go get your job. I don't love you mm-hmm. like. See, if I say I love somebody, it means I'm lying to that person, and I'm hoping that one day I'll be able to back up the lie. And that's why I think that what Ron is talking about, what Ron is talking. The more picky you are, the more you've been lied to. Because if you've been told the truth, you realize that all the longer my list gets for demands, mm-hmm. the more I'm putting, uh, the more I'm going to be single. Because a relationship basically means I'm putting up with your faults and you putting up with mine. Well, and picking this is fake standards, right? So here mm-hmm. we go with the same thread through all of this stuff. The girl who came out and said you can't take her to the cheesecake factory. And, and if people look, man, you can get out of here, because I like the cheesecake factory. Ten foot pole, if people would say. <laughs> number five it can get really creepy online the internet is full of stories of people who were lured by criminals using these apps Ron talked about that earlier the internet is a weird place that you need to navigate carefully these apps are well intentioned however just with everything else 
put them in a wrong pair of hands and they're subject to misuse. Apply maximum caution when using these apps. Be on high alert for potential malicious online behavior. Don't give out your secret financial details online to strangers who promise to love you and moon to the moon and back. Okay? Don't go on dates in weird places. Be on the radar for superstitious, I mean, suspicious activity with potential dating partners and exercise maximum caution. Guys, this all starts with a lie. If you ain't lying, you ain't going to get caught up in this. The scammer does not look for people who are telling the truth. What do you think, Ronnie, when you hear me say that or when you no, see this see, part of I think of they it? do. I think they do look for the people that's telling the truth. Because they don't, they will know exactly how to manipulate them then. Because, again, we still haven't met yet. We're still on this app. And whatever I say to you can manipulate you because you're being so honest because you're truly out here trying to No, Rhonda. The, but, Rhonda, I, see, I, I'm pushing back on you because the algorithm is looking for lies. The algorithm is not looking for truth. See, that's what that's what these dating apps. But you got to throw the human. You got to throw the human part into it, because we will manipulate stuff to make it seem like, oh, they really here for me. They really but are trying to. No truth. Truth makes you ask questions. Point. Truth makes you ask questions. When you start operating in truth. So you mean people just be doing giving away their money, not asking no questions? The, yes, because they're so they they they've gotten so emotionally attached based off of the lies. Mm -hmm. You got to prove to all these people that you can find a man that gonna meet these ten standards. So now you start allowing a lot of work because it's allowing you to look like you something better than the rest of your girls, than well, the rest of your boys. Girls, they would know she ain't gonna you know, be nobody that meet all the time. Your girls full of lies too. Every one. If you lying, your girls lying. Birds of a feather flock together. If your boys lying, you lying. There's a lot of people. Rhonda, look, man, you and I get together with my mama and we do a trip every year. People can't believe we do it. Mm -hmm. Why? Because, man, we just lying about loving oh, our that's parents. Lies. Yes, that's lies. <laughs> we lying about loving our siblings, right? We actually, we actually do love our We mama. actually enjoy we actually enjoy being around. Mm -hmm. We actually enjoy being around each other. And people mm -hmm. are so amazed at it because they don't. Well, we now, Rhonda, we've gotten to a point in life we pick and choose who we want to spend time with, which Absolutely. means we have fewer people that we spend the time with. Mm -hmm. and every time we try to spend time with people who are not rooted in that, they end up exposing themselves and we stop hanging out with them because we ain't got time for that no more. That's the same time. thing with this app. Yes. That's, if that's I'm truthful, really personally and business. Absolutely. Yes. If I'm truthful, a lot of things aren't going to get sent my way because truth does not allow that to come through the filter. But if I'm yeah. a big time liar, everything is coming to me. People are going to love me more. More people are rooted in lies than the truth. The scammer is not trying to deal with somebody truthfully because the truthful person going to alert the cops. Hey, man, this guy up here tried to just ask me for my cash app, and I done read on my Facebook profile, and I done read on my Facebook group that he out here doing this to a lot of other people. I, he, he, you know, the, the person who operates in truth turn you in. The person who operates in lies getting abused by the scammer, and their life is ruined. Let me get to this last one as we get ready to close this thing out, Run. Number six, everything is so superficial. What makes you swipe right on the profile? What makes you swipe left? Instant judgments that are based on taking a glance at someone's profile picture. I am sorry. You may not like it, but that is being too superficial. You haven't taken the time to get the person, get to know the person you swipe left on just because you thought, um, they were not attractive enough. Who knows? They could have turned out to be the best dating partner that you have ever had. These apps by design are designed to make their users make instant decisions. That's just wrong. You may have a different one. Worse, it could even turn out that the profile picture that you like could have been enhanced with a rude shot that would be to, to you when you meet your month-long online chat in person, I mean, chat and partner in person. Jump in there, Ryan. What do you think about that? Oh, no, I, I, I agree with that. Like, it's, it, I just think so much stuff online is superficial. Like, really, I just... So just stop right there. Is. You just preach, right? Social media is superficial. Yeah. Online is superficial. Dating apps are superficial. Why would you go on a thing that's superficial? It's because that's what you are. And one of the things, and it's okay being superficial, but don't complain like you're not. This is why these and, dating and don't, get, don't complain when you get ran through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I pre okay, I appreciate you saying it like that. But yeah, <laughs> right, right. But guys, this is what happens when you play that superficial game. Is get me before uh, get you before you get me. 
That's what a lot is happening. You making your decision based on the visual. But guess what, guys? You learn this the hard way. Men or women, the finer they are, the more problems they have. And if you make, if you basing your swipe based on the attractiveness physically, just know the more attractive, whether male or female, the more issues, the more problems they have. What do you think, Ron, when you hear me say that? Mm. <laughs> what? Look, 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 I'm going to tell you like this. I, don't know. I mean, I think they get, I don't know. They get paid more attention for sure, but. I don't know, man. The scam starts with somebody you physically attracted to. That's the scam. I got if the physical attraction is not there, that person cannot run a scam. They have nothing else to stand on other than the physical attraction. I wrote well, you I'm in. Saying, but I'm saying the most attractive people will have the more like all types of people attracted to them. So yeah, in, mm-hmm. in, in that from that way, yes, they will have have more problems. But hopefully, I don't know. I just yeah. Last one, guys, are you sure this will work in the real world? You've been chatting with this guy for hours on end. You think he's very interested and charming, and you may even have fallen for him. Have you thought about whether that would be the case if you were to meet your online dating partner in the real world? Would they be as charming and interesting Mm -hmm. as they were in the online chat box? For any relationship to materialize from your online dating experience, things must progress to the real world. We can all create whatever kind of persona we want to online. What do you think about that, Rhonda, when you hear it? I think it's a resounding. Will this work in the real world? No. 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 I think it's a resounding no. Uh, but again, people, that's the thing with these apps. I'm giving you hope that you never know. One may will. All you need is one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, but, All but you need so, is one. But, but I think it's so funny, guys. What is your real world? See, got, you got to understand what is your real world. What will yeah. you put up with? What's your, what is your, everybody got a tolerance level for what they're going to put up with. Right. And that's why I like that. He's saying, will you, will this work in the real world? But in essence, guys, your real world may not be so real. That, and that's the dip. So, so you may like going through guy after guy or girl after girl. You may like living this alter ego world, right? You see people doing it all the time. You see people doing it all the time. The hardest thing in America right now is to be authentic and to be truthful and to be upfront. Because that means you're going to be lonely. That means you're going to be lonely. And a lot of people have said, I'll just become a liar. I'll just become this person that, 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 that cooperate, that cooperates in this world because this is where all the people are. And I'd rather be over here with the people than to be by myself. Jump in there, Ronnie. Let me know what you think about this real world thing again. Sorry. Look, well, the lo- again, I, I just feel like the loneliness is real. When people feel like they by themselves and again, phone is dry and ain't nobody calling and checking <laughs> on you and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then you do have somebody that's here to fluff you up or like to give you that few minutes of time where like, hey, it's all about you, even though it's yeah. 10 years. Absolutely. <laughs> right? But, right look, but, guys, but they don't know yes. that. Yes. All that matters is I make you feel like you're the only one. Yeah. You ain't got to be the only one. I got to make you feel, you feel like, like you're the only one. one. And that's why, guys, in your real world, at the end of the day, what is 25 women for every one man? And you you fortunate to find a man that only wants you. The problem is when you find a man that only wants you, you don't know how to treat that man. Right? And that's, and that's the deal. But I, I hope that you guys have seen something from these two articles. The five points from the woman's perspective, seven points from the guy's perspective. Rhonda, what's your closing thought tonight on this thing? Um, when we talk about dating apps ruining dating or what have you, the answer mm-hmm. is a resounding yes. Yes. Um, look, do it if you have to, but then don't complain about the results or whatever happens. That's my closing thought. Point blank <laughs> in the period. Ain't no need to be fluffing nothing up. Man, look. Right in preaching now. Y'all know my closing thought. I'm going to be quick tonight. My closing thought is simple. The, 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 the failure of dating apps has increased the work wife and the work husband. <laughs> the more the dating apps have failed, people are now back in their offices, in their place of work, creating a relationship because the dating apps have failed. And that's why the work wife and the work husband has increased exponentially while the dating apps market value and stock prices are going down. So where is the real dating happening now? The real dating happening at the place of work. And if you ain't, if you ain't caught on to that, 
if you ain't caught on to that, that's what you're missing out on, man. And y'all know what it is. It's the Smoke Something, Drink Something podcast. Again, I'm the Real Cigar Jeff. You can see all my information down in the description, man. Y'all support the channel. Get the merch. If you hadn't done it already, mash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on that bell for notification. Get down in the comment section, man. Ron and Jeff crazy or Ron and Jeff on to something. If you didn't got involved in these date naps and, and it didn't work out for you, let us know, man. Y'all know I got to thank my resident relationship and dating expert. Oh, no. I'm going I'm to let her remind y'all of where y'all can find her on the socials. Put me on IG at RMB LMBT. Man, we appreciate y'all tuning in. Again, get down in the comment section. Really helps us with the algorithm. Really helps push the channel out. And until next time, we going to holler.